one of the nice features of Windows 11 is that it comes with a built-in set of automated troubleshooters, which can help you resolve problems without you having to dig deep into documentation to figure out what's going on. So to take a look at these troubleshooters, I'm going to go ahead and click on Start and then go to Settings. It defaults to the system settings, which can scroll down, and you'll see here there's a selection for troubleshoot. So I'm going to click on troubleshoot, and I want to select this bottom option here, which talks about other troubleshooters. Now, it seems like it should like maybe give you some troubleshooters, and then this is all the rest of them, but this is the best way to just get to all troubleshooters. That's how I think this should just say all troubleshooters. So I'm going to click on this, and you'll see I now get a list of troubleshooters, ranging from troubleshooting internet connectivity audio problems, printer problems, Windows update problems. If I scroll down further, you can see if there's issues with Bluetooth, the camera, making connections to the workplace or even incoming connections, keyboard, networking, power, etc. I'm not going to read them all to you. But you see there's a number of troubleshooters. And next to each one is the word run. So if we were to just pick one, I'm just going to pick the printer just to pick something. Let's pretend like I'm having an issue with my printer, right? That's actually fairly common. A user will Call in and say, I don't know, it doesn't seem to want to connect to the printer or print to the printer the way it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and run this troubleshooter. When I click on that, you'll see here that it's going to go through and it's going to detect problems. It checks the spooler service and it was looking for spooler service errors. Why? Because the spooler service is one of the primary places that you would go if you were manually trying to troubleshoot printer problems. So now it's asking me which printer would I like to troubleshoot? And I do have a printer that's hooked up. I have my brother laser printer here. And then there's a couple of OneNote printers, which are not real printers. But let's pretend like the issue is that the printer that I'm trying to print to, I don't see it listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the button, say my printer is not listed and click next. And again, it's going to go through and detect problems. And it's still checking the spooler service for errors. It's now scanning for hardware changes, right? Maybe it's saying, oh, maybe the drivers got deleted. And so let me look and see what hardware is plugged in. Maybe we just need to find the drivers. And now it goes through and it started to say installing printer because it's now going to say, hey, looks like you need to go ahead and add the printer if you're not seeing your printer listed here. So if I wanted to do that, I could click the open add printer wizard and that would allow me the opportunity to go ahead and add the printer back in, right? Maybe that's the problem is it got uninstalled. So we have to add it manually. All right. Now I'm not going to do that because I don't have a printer here to add, but I am going to go ahead and click on next and it talks about resolving problems. And it says you now need to restart your PC to finish installing drivers and updates. And if I click apply this fix, well, then the system is going to go ahead and reboot. Or I could say skip this fix, which says continue troubleshooting without applying this particular fix. All right. So again, let's think about common troubleshooting. Common troubleshooting, it checked for spooler service errors, didn't find any. It says, how about you install the printer? And then if you went ahead and said, all right, I installed it, you click next. It says, all right, now how about what's always the next big troubleshooting thing? Tell users to reboot. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip that and let's see what it does next. Now it's detecting any additional problems, right? And again, it's just kind of going through and looking for everything. It looked for the spooler, looking for the hardware changes. And you'll see here that it says no physical printer is installed. This was not fixed. Your PC must be restarted. It did detect that as a problem. And it's just giving you a warning because you haven't done it. From there, guess what? We can go ahead and we can close the troubleshooter because the troubleshooter process has completed. So again, the idea wasn't to specifically teach you how to troubleshoot printers. It was to show you how there is a built-in wizard that will take you through the basic steps to troubleshooting certain common problem areas within Windows 11.